What would happen to the fitness industry if World War III started tomorrow? Would we still be working out? Would we still be bulking up and cutting down and hitting PRs in the gym? Well, let's find out. So these are in no particular order whatsoever. These are just things that you should get ready for. Things that will help you be physically fit if World War III starts tomorrow. Practice your high intensity training. So get on the treadmill and just like book it, like do it. Because you never know when you're going to have to be like running for a couple miles just to, just to get away from whatever's going on, get away from bombs, get away from people that are shooting, get away from whatever it is, just run away. Just run away. That's the first thing. High intensity cardio. Get your get your heart rate up, get it pumping, get it ready so you can run them when World War Three starts so you can run away. Another thing that you should work on is your medium intensity steady state cardio. We're gonna do some jazzercise that'll keep you fit and smiling, sugar. So that you can constantly be moving at a medium steady state and you're not getting super, super tired. So for medium intensity steady state, I recommend 30 to 45 minutes per day of stair step or cardio, something like that, maybe 30 to 45 minutes of just walking on the treadmill. Here we go, smiling, smiling. Smiling now to the pelvis, front, back, front, back. Or go to the track and go do a, like a steady jog every day. Even do boxing, just in case you need to fight somebody that's opposing you. Another thing that you want to do is bulk up to your higher end of body fat because you don't want World War III to come and you have no food in your 6% body fat after a bodybuilding show. You would just die in like a week. You would die because you'd already be starved. Like, if World War III came and you're depleted and you're like 6% body fat, what are you going to do if you can't eat for two weeks? You would like drop dead. That's, yeah, that's not good. So bulk back up to your, your higher body fat range before World War III starts, I mean like... Their bodies beyond belief. It looks like muscle, but we don't know. 14, 16, 18% body fat, even 20% body fat, because you're probably gonna lose like 10% body fat when the war starts. Even if you prepare for it, even if you've got a lot of food, there's probably gonna be times where you, you know, you know, you don't have it for a while. So you need to go ahead and bulk back up, get the, get the fat stores ready to be, uh, used and depleted and burned for World War III purposes. Play first person shooters uh -huh. what the to make your reflexes faster. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a pro at this. I've been playing first person shooters all my life. <laughs> my reflexes are very fast. I see you before you see me. Surprise. It really, really helps. Seriously. Go to a tactical shooting practice and get really good. After you've played the video games first. Because the video games is your practice for the actual shooting practice. Tactical practice, yep. You need to be training super high volume because you need to get used to holding guns all day. Because 
you're gonna need guns and you're gonna need to hold them. So 30 to 40 rep sets at the gym, get it done. So get to the gym and start hitting those 30 to 40 rep sets. Ah, yeah. I'm going down, down, baby. As far as I can go down comfortably. Ah. God. God. So you can handle holding heavy objects all day. Another thing that really, 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 really might help you, just in case you need to haul around a lot of gear, is train in a weight vest. This will make you more physically fit and prepared to haul around a weight vest if the time comes. Get a mask, train in an elevation mask, just in case. Just in case something happens and you need to wear a mask and it's a little bit harder to breathe. Now you'll, you'll be experienced, you'll be physically fit for that. It's also going to make cardio a little bit more intense because you're going to be breathing a little bit harder. So that, that makes things a little bit more difficult. It's going to make you a little bit more physically prepared. So yeah, get a mask, train in a mask. Thank me later. The last thing that you really, really need to do, click the little like button on this video. If you liked it, you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, click that bell for more videos like this. I'm going to be doing as many interesting videos as I could possibly come up with. A lot of cool things are coming, guys. A lot of cool things are coming. I'm also getting shredded. I'm going to pull you through that process with me. You guys are gonna see me go from where I'm at right now to absolutely shredded, and then I'm probably gonna bulk back up again very, very slowly. I'm gonna take you guys all through that, as well as keep making videos like this one. I'll see you guys next time. All love. Hopefully World War III never happens. This whole video was all in good fun. I'll see you guys next time. Run.